Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm NDL Jamer. Uh, today I'm continuing the guide series on how to play the Autumn Festival event in the game Elf Explorer, since so many of you have asked about it. First, there's the daily login section. Each day you check in, you'll receive fireworks and base kebab boxes. When you open these boxes, you'll get puzzle pieces for the Atlas section. Here, you need to complete a full picture from the puzzle pieces in order to receive a gift box. And the gift box contains Lucario shards. By the sixth box, you'll be able to get a shiny Lucario, so make sure to try and open all six gift boxes. Lucario is a strong Pokemon, so do your best to collect it. It has uh, quite a few priority skills. You can use the green tokens to buy boxes based on different images. The game is quite challenging, so you'll often get duplicate puzzle pieces. However, you need to try and complete one full image in order to receive a reward box. Additionally, you can use the tokens to exchange for the shards of your favorite Pokemon. Uh, this option is great for those who don't like to take risks. If you're going to buy Pokemon shards, choose either SSR or UR Demigod, as they are easier to level up in terms of stars. As for the fireworks, they are used in the fireworks section of the event. When you launch fireworks, you'll earn accumulation points, which can be exchanged for rewards. The better the fireworks, the more points you'll earn. These rewards are excellent because they include UR shards of demigods, and you can choose the demigod you like. Uh, the higher quality fireworks will give, give you more points, but if you're playing for free, you'll only have access to the regular fireworks. Once you've finished launching fireworks, the server will distribute red envelopes to everyone, containing various rewards, too many to list. However, these envelopes only appear at certain times of the day, so when you see them, make sure to launch your fireworks. Next is the challenge section, where you complete tasks to earn fireworks and uh, kaba boxes. These tasks are pretty simple, just your regular daily tasks. For example, there's a task that requires you to do five gacha pulls, but the free pulls during the day only give you four. However, at night, you'll get one more held item gacha pull, making it five total. So don't rush to use your red tickets. The mall section is for those who enjoy spending money in the game to buy whatever they like also known as pay to win. The more money you have, the easier everything becomes. Here, they sell everything you might need. In the exchange section, you can buy fireworks using gems to launch, and there are plenty of items you can exchange for with gold coins. You can trade for, for anything you like, but personally, I only want to get the shiny lure because it's not sold anywhere else. Also, the feather is very important. For those with extra money, you can buy the Mega Mewtwo Stone if you're playing Mewtwo. A lot of people ask me where to get the Mega Mewtwo Stone. It's here, in the event shop. In short, there are many items available, so just buy whatever you need. I'm just giving a few suggestions. Uh, the Paradise section is simple. It's just a memory test where you match images. I'm sure everyone has already completed this, so I won't go into detail. That's all for now. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next ones. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on gift codes.